All right, we are headed to do a little bit of wade fishing this morning. Uh, looks like real good conditions as far as the tide goes, um, as far as the winds go. I got a little bit of a later start than I'd like, um, but uh, we all have families and kids, had to get the little ones off of school, but I'm clear now for uh, a few hours to get some wade fishing in. So we're gonna hit um, the Ocean Springs area and see if we can't uh, put any fish together. So I'll be keying on, like I, I've said in previous uh, videos, I'll be keying on some structure. Um, tide's extremely high right now. I think it, it rose at a, a 2.3 click um, and it's just starting to fall. So we're gonna get a real hard falling tide in the next couple hours. Um, and that usually triggers a, a pretty good bite. So um, we've been consistently getting rain here um, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast every day. Uh, but not as much as we have been over the last two weeks. So it's been a little bit more spotty. I'm hoping this salinity is, uh, is creeping back up. Um, we've got a good hard, like I said, falling tide. Uh, and we, we're going to take a shot at um, some of my wade fishing spots. And we'll, we'll get up along that structure again. That's just that time of year. Um, and I'll give, it a, I'll give it a shot. We, got, we stopped and got a little bit of lob bait. Um, I'm rigged up with, let's see, for um, artificials, I got, um, I think I still got the Limbo Slice and the Matrix Shed um, rigged up today. Um, we got some top water rigged up, and we got some Paul Brown um, softing uh, rigged up. So we got a couple different options depending on the water clarity, and we'll, I'll kind of flex to uh, what what we want to go with but uh stay tuned all right first fish of the day just your old traditional ladyfish number one let's let her go she's anxious all right on the popping court a little bit of live bait on this morning go fishing some structure like i preach so let's see what else we can get uh we can get this morning Hooked up right here. That's pretty decent. It's got a little pool behind it. Let's see what we got going on right here. Nice speckled trout. Nice speckled trout. Beautiful speck. Nice speckled trout. So just with technique I, I've been preaching, fallen tide, far side the uh, the structure of the piers and uh, those trout. This, Speckle trout right here was just feeding on that bait running through, the, running through the pier, using it as a funnel system. So, proof again. Uh, that that strategy right there um, works over and over again. Let me get him off the hook, and we'll get him. Take a measure of him and see what size he is. Oh, bull croaker. Let him go back. See you, buddy. Is he in the water now? Yeah, it's in the water. Out here watching, uh, fishing East Beach and has unbelievable footage here of a water spout. It touched ground there, it looks like near Deer Island. Unbelievable footage. That is wild. That's why they say, always be aware of your surroundings. It looks like it's moving. It looks like it's moving west and you can see here I'm I'm way fishing east I'm out here on along East Beach had a little a storm moving in and 
I look up and there's a incredible, incredible water spout just moving. Looks like it's moving along Deer Island. Just churning up water. So I'm gonna be careful here though. If it gets too close, I'm gonna go ahead and take cover in my truck. But I've been around many water spouts, none of this magnitude and crowd now. Got a big got a crowd collecting now, people watching it. Absolutely stunning. Well, you know, it's why I preach safety all the time too. People you'll hear me as the channel grows that why I'm always preaching safety, man. Because that, that's you out there fishing Deer Island on your boat, wave fishing. And I mean that that just that popped up out of nowhere, guys. I mean absolutely out of nowhere. It looks like it's starting to fizzle out now. But that's some of the most incredible footage I've ever seen for a water spout. Absolutely incredible footage. Wow. starting to fizzle out and die out that is wild I mean she's not even she's on this side of Deer Island on my side Water spout coming on land right in front of me. Crossing the road right in front of me. Absolutely unbelievable, man. It passed over right where I was at. Oh man, that's crazy. That's crazy. It was a wild, wild morning uh, with some weather that I was not expecting. So got out there, like you've seen, wanted to get a quick little wade trip in, uh, caught a few fish um, early, fishing around some structures, some old piers, fishing that, that fallen tide, uh, like I had mentioned in the, uh, in the beginning, but it ended up turning into a weather event, a wild weather event that I've never really been a part of that close. Um, some absolutely stunning video, uh, but it turned into pretty dangerous stuff there uh, toward the end. They had the one water spout that was over Deer Island a good ways away, so I was able to capture some um, great footage of that, and which actually got picked up by the Weather Channel um, and they featured it uh, on one of their evening shows. Uh, so that was that was pretty cool. But um, the second video you seen the clip that was a water spout that just popped up out of nowhere. We thought the the far water spout was done, kind of did its thing, it fizzled out. Um, but out of nowhere, I, I was kind of packing my gear up, and there was no reason to fish anymore after that weather had moved in and uh, kind of got everything worked up. Another water spout. Uh, popped up out of nowhere there, but much, much closer right there um, in the bayou area, area there, going to the mouth of uh, of the bay. And if you watch it tracking there on that video, um, where I, I was actually parked at, and uh, where I kind of normally park in that area of um, of that beach, uh, it was it was headed right there. So uh, you can see in that video, I had to actually go in reverse and back up a good 150 yards um, for that uh, water spout to come come through there. And uh, you know, luckily, 
by the time it kind of got there and water spouts once they hit land a lot of time they do they do tend to fizzle out and um can't don't do as much harm but uh yeah it's, it's not something that you ever want to play with it's not something uh you know they say water spouts once they hit land it, it you know it's not going to do as much damage as a tornado but you really don't know what's spinning inside there it could be some dangerous stuff flying around um but this is a good example. I know it's 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 not quite fishing, but then it is because I can't tell you how many fishing trips that I've been on where weather became an important factor of that trip. Um, sometimes weather becomes you know extremely dangerous. You got to run out some storms. You got to you got to just got to go in. You got to call it a day. Um, then there's other aspects of weather where it kind of changes your game plan of fishing, right? Uh, so, you know, you get some wind, wind picked up that you weren't expecting, you get some storms, some rain, so you're not being able to fish the area that you thought you were going to fish and that you prepped for. So weather is always at play when it comes to fishing, especially on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And, uh, this footage is a perfect example of that. <clears throat> but one other thing I wanted to emphasize real quick before we, before we get off here is safety 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 right i mean I, you hear me preaching the first videos um first couple of videos we did here about a lot of new fishermen on the, on the gulf coast kind of what i'm kind of angling at um to, as we start the channel but with that being said if you've never fished down here if you've never fished along the gulf coast in general from you know from texas all the way to, to the panhandle of florida that uh these thunderstorms can pop up out of nowhere and they can be they can be really strong and sometimes they can they can leave you with some water spouts a hail so if you're new to the area and you haven't really uh, experienced the weather and um, the thunderstorms that can pop up along the gulf coast this is a good um, example of how things can turn south really quick so just keep that in mind I always preach safety I always want to put that first you know especially if you're fishing with kids you're fishing with uh, some older folks um, always keep them in mind. You never want to put anybody in, in harm's way. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's just one of those things that it's unfortunate how I went down there. I didn't get much time to fish, honestly. I think I may have got about an hour to fish. I did catch some fish. Um, you've seen from the previous clips. I've caught a, I caught a few trout, um, and that's, that's about all I was able to put together and, and, until the weather moved in. So, Yep, so I just want to do a quick recap because that was some uh, wild video there that I got footage of. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's the South and, you know, things things sometimes can turn like that and go down like that without weather. Uh, but you know what, Let's with that being said, let's wrap it up. Um, I got, you can see behind me, I uh, just want to give a shout out to Cedar Swamp, Rocky over there in Coche, Mississippi. He does a great job, man, always supporting small businesses. Um, especially in the fishing community. Um, Rocky over there has everything you're gonna need as far as rods, reels, uh, equipment, lures, you know, um, artificial lures, top water, everything you need. Rocky's got what's in, what's working. He knows you got questions. He's the guy to talk to in, in the, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. He's always in the know. That's what I like about Rocky. If there's something new coming out, he's always in front of it, uh, but he's got reels. He's got rods, he's got everything. He also does uh, cleaning over there at Cedar Swamp. Um, if you need your reels uh, cleaned up, you know, oiled up or whatever you need, you can drop it off there at, um, at the store and you'll get you turned around pretty quick. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proof that um, I can tear some reels up and get them pretty nasty pretty quick. And Rocky gives me a lot of slack for that, but you know, it's, he does a great job and a tremendous job uh, of getting those reels back to, to brand new. So. Uh, kudos to him and his his team over there um also if you uh first time watching you know i know we're a, a, a new channel but um appreciate it if you subscribe um uh, like the video drop uh, drop a comment in here we'll try to get some of this this community going um all along the gulf, Co gulf coast but especially in uh, the mississippi gulf coast try to pull together some of this fishing community and uh we'll get some We'll get some talk going and see if we can help uh, folks all along the coast become better fishermen. Until next time, you guys take it easy.